Dubtown Rockers, The New Kid. Written by Paul Wollstonecroft and Daniel De La Cruz. Illustrated by Melissa Purden. In the warm and colorful seas on the tropical island of Rubber Dub, all the kids are ready for their first day at Dubtown Elementary. Crunch had just moved to Dubtown and didn't know anybody. Boy, I'm so nervous about my first day of school, Crunch said to himself. Wow, this is a nice school, Crunch thought. But it's so big, I'm not sure where to go. Crunch glanced at his school schedule and saw room 808. He decided to head straight down the hallway to see if he could find his classroom. As Crunch began walking down the hallway, he wondered, what's going on in all these different classrooms? He looked inside room 101 and saw kids on a carpet listening to their teacher read a story. Down the hallway in room 202, Crunch noticed a classroom full of students in front of canvases. They had paint brushes and palettes full of different color paints. This must be an art class. They're all learning how to paint. Crunch slowly walked down the hall to room 303 and saw a classroom full of students doing all sorts of things. There were kids studying an ant farm. There were students dropping ice into bubbling beakers. There was even a model volcano erupting. How exciting, Crunch said. This must be the science room. Just then, a teacher came rushing around the corner. She walked right up to Crunch and said, Hello there. Oh, you look a little lost. Where are you going? For a moment, Crunch began to panic. You see, Crunch was part dragon. He didn't talk like everyone else. He spoke a special language only dragons could understand. He played it cool and showed the teacher his schedule. Ah, I see. You're supposed to be in music class. Go straight to the end of the hall and turn left. You can't miss it. Crunch hurried down the hallway. As he neared the end, he was stopped in his tracks by the most amazing sound. What's that I hear? He thought. Crunch continued to follow his ears in delight. When he finally arrived at the room the music was coming from, he saw a little sign that read, Room 808. And above the door was another sign that read, Music Room. He peered into the room unnoticed and saw a group of five kids jamming out. There was a guitar, a bass, a drummer, a singer, and even a horn player that was playing different instruments at once. It wasn't until they finished their song that they noticed Crunch standing quietly behind them. They excitedly went over to him and began asking lots of questions. Hi, I'm Jet. What's your name? What kind of music do you like? I'm called Coda. Welcome. Did you like the song? Hey, little dude. How'd you do? Do you play music too? Crunch stared at them blankly. His panic started to grow and his thoughts raced. How will I answer them? They won't understand me. What do I do? Just as it was getting unbearable, Crunch calmly stood up, walked over to the keyboard, and began to wail. The more he played, the more Jet, Zap, Coda, Pearl, and Wiz started to boogie. They boogied so much, they boogied their way back to their instruments and started jamming right along with Crunch. Jet was almost speechless. Whoa! <laughs> he said, Who are you, dude? With a huge toothy grin, Crunch blurted out, Blah, 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 blah. Everybody had an extremely puzzled look on their face, except Coda who was also part dragon. Coda slowly opened his eyes and explained, He said his name's Crunch and he's new here. With that, Jet, Wiz, Zap, Coda, and Pearl all huddled together and began whispering to each other. When they finished, Jet said to Crunch, 
Hey, will you be our new keyboard player? Jumping up and down, Crunch cried out, Blah blue, blah blah blue. Crunch says it would be his great honor to make music with you. Coda explained. They all put their arms around each other and said, Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Dubtown Rockers. Rockers.